Hey everybody, my name is Kyle and this is Track by Track, music reviews, news, and commentary. Everybody loves Fridays, but for music fans, Fridays are extra special because it's new album release day. Just about every Friday there's at least one new album that I'm excited to hear. And even though I keep a list of upcoming releases that I'm personally interested in picking up, I'm always open to surprises. Sometimes those surprises are artists that I was unfamiliar with, but I'm compelled to check them out due to the buzz their music is generating. But on rare occasions, surprises come from artists that I love that decide to release new music with no advance notice. That's exactly what happened today when singer-songwriter Margaret Glaspie surprise released a new digital EP called Born Yesterday. Glaspie's debut album Emotions and Math came out in 2016, and I included it in my top 10 for that year. The new EP is described as being a bookend to that album, and I think that's a fair description. Born Yesterday includes just three new songs, but they definitely feel like a continuation of the music from her full length. It's got more of that same simmering, gritty, bluesy swagger that made Emotions and Math such a great record. Margaret Glaspie says she wrote these new songs while on the road, so it makes perfect sense that they're recorded in the same basic trio format that she plays in on tour and with the same musicians as well. The material is road-tested and well-rehearsed, resulting in three tight, polished performances. To hear these songs were recorded in a single day is little surprise, and I mean that as a compliment. The first track and single from the EP is Before We Were Together, and it's an infectiously bouncy piece of indie rock that kind of recalls the early 80s for me. One of the things that I love about a trio is how essential each musician becomes in the mix, and that's perfectly illustrated on this song. There's a great driving bass line by Daniel Ryan paired with an evolving percussion from drummer Tim Cool. On top of all that, we get Glaspie's crunchy guitar and the confident occasional growl in her vocals. On One Heart and Two Arms, the song starts out sounding like a slowed down version of the title track from her full album, but it quickly develops into something much more seductive. I love the dirty sound of her guitar in this track, and the way she hits her chords and just lets them ring, not rushing to the next notes. The EP closes all too soon with I Love You Good Night. Here it seems Ryan has swapped his bass guitar for some kind of keyboard. I'm not sure what it is, an organ or a mellotron perhaps, but I love the nice full sound that it creates, filling in the low end of the sonic spectrum. Now, lyrically, this is a classic ode to life on the road and the strain of separation for the touring musician. Rather than building the track around sorrowful minor chords, though, the melody leans closer to melancholy, suggesting that the love of the road may have as strong a pull as the love of home. So as I mentioned before, Margaret Glaspie describes this EP as a bookend to her album. I could have easily imagined her releasing a deluxe edition of Emotions and Math and simply adding these songs as bonus tracks. As an EP, all on their own, they're still great songs, but I'm definitely left wanting more. Now, hopefully we won't have to wait too long for Glaspie's full-length follow-up, which she says she's working on and experimenting with new sounds as well. I'll look forward to that for sure. Meanwhile, I'm giving the Born Yesterday EP by Margaret Glaspie an X rating of 7 out of 10. If you're new to her music, I highly recommend that you consider pairing this with her excellent debut album for the ultimate Margaret Glaspie experience. I'll include links to both of those in the description below. Once again, my name is Kyle and this is Track by Track. If you like this video, be sure to check out some of the other videos here on my channel. I'll link to a couple of those below. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe because true music fans always want new releases the day they come out. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.